First up on path C is team eight at the Brigham Young University. This is Maverick, their 10,000 foot commercial off the shelf attempt with an air attack 2400 motor. Talk to me, Goose. Brigham Young University is on path C6. We're armed on path C6. I have a clear range and a clear sky. I'm going in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So the Spaceport America Cup competition is an engineering competition to see who can build sound rocket that can go to their projected apogee as close as possible. Every year, like 100 to 150 universities from across the, the globe come compete and launch rockets that contain four kilogram to like eight to nine pound payloads in them. And they'll go to 10,000 feet or 30,000 feet above the ground. Basically able to just see a ton of different universities and what they're able to come up with, the different engineering challenges they solve to get here, and honestly, just what they're able to make. The rockets themselves have lots of cool materials in them and just different design ideas that we've never thought of. So it's really cool to see that and get new ideas for coming back. When we arrived here, um, we went to the conference center and we were able to see all of these other teams with their rockets, and it was really just inspiring. It was, it was impressive to see all of the work that these teams had put in and the creative things that they were doing, um, some of which were completely different than anything we had considered. Um, and it was just really impressive to see all of these teams and the talent and the creativity that they brought to this competition. Yeah. So we use the Ford motor retention. Use the bolts. So the you, you haven't launched this rocket? Yet. We have. Oh, you have? Yes. Yeah, it's flown one side. Okay, uh, let's see. So uh, I'm going to ask you three numbers that I want you to be very specific. Okay. Center of pressure, center of gravity, and weight. Okay. So it, 49, 49 pounds is not probably going to come. Okay. Okay. We're, and, and we're going to ask you these questions again when you come to flight uh, safety review. Okay. Okay. And so I want to not and if it changes, it changes, but mm -hmm. we'll probably want to know why. Okay. And when you go out there and you're nervous and you haven't worked at a team trying to load this rocket with the buttons on the bottom and you're hitting things and the rocket's rolling over on one button, those buttons take a boost. So we're going to Home Depot to get some uh, washers for the rail buttons since the safety officers didn't like our rail clamp. <laughs> one of our previous test launches, uh, our flight computer, had a small uh, wire short and the rocket uh, had a pre pre ejection on one of the the parachute systems and the rocket fell off the rod and we broke one of our charge wells um, one of the things that houses the the black powder that we use So we had to go to Home Depot to try to find um, a replacement charge well because the backup that we had ordered never, never came in. We're not the only ones who need hardware. <laughs> yeah, but chop it right in half and set it between the two plates. That's what I was and thinking. And then thread it into that. That's what I was thinking. Um, That's what we thought initially. I just. We just need a hacksaw. We don't have that with we us. Have we have the Dremel with the fix. Oh, Riley does. Hotel bar top. We got everything at Home Depot. Mission success. <laughs> well, Scott's got stuff too. Being at the booth at the convention center Essentially, it's just presenting our project, everything that we've worked on, its unique characteristics and what sets us apart from other teams and other projects. Being able to see all the other projects is inspiring as well. And just being able to say, hey, we did this that no one else did, and that we're doing cool things too. That's honestly the best part of it, is being able to share that.
the judges really liked the payload and we were showing it to them and they came by and checked out our table. We even got a little like on the spot recognition award. So um, I feel pretty confident, of course, um, walking around the other teams. There's some pretty cool um, other payloads, but I like to think that we definitely have something that's a bit more unique. I'm feeling pretty good. We're just doing some last minute mm, adjustments to make sure everything's prepped, charging batteries, um, fixing charge well. Pretty easy stuff, but stuff that's important that needs to be done. So there is a level of tension, I'd say, to just make sure we can get ready for tomorrow. I mean, it's not super critical that we launch tomorrow, but um, we'd rather do early than late. It's a very humbling experience, you know, being in the hotel, soldering, uh, you know, I was working on that pretty late, but it's a ton of fun, and I don't know, time flies when you're having fun. We've prepared a long time for this, and there's not much more we can do other than have a successful flight. Techno line dancing music. <laughs> it was my understanding. That just soaks. <laughs> So we are moving because the road's been washed out by the rain, so we're kind of just waiting, like everyone else, to go down to the launch range. Yes. How do we like prep and launch before 4.30? It's a good question. Yeah, he's got a blue shirt. He, yeah, he knows he stuff. So. Is the launch window still only noon to 4.30 for today? If we can get out there in time, yes. Okay. But who knows? We might be able to. Okay. Uh, given how the weather looks like right now, it probably won't happen today. Okay. Do you know what weather looks like tomorrow? Is it better? Slightly better, but similar to this. Unfortunately, weather is never predictable. We would be launching rockets all the time if we could but we're still able to get the rocket ready to a point we feel like we did enough for the day. We'll be able to call what we did successful. change of plans uh, with the weather and everything. The launch is being canceled today. So we're gonna pack up and we have everything prepped so we can just come back early tomorrow and get the rocket going. It's launch day. Right now we're just chilling in line to get into spaceport. These guys have got it all under control. They're like a swarm of bees putting everything together. They keep saying it's gonna take them an hour. It's taken about three hours so far, but I think it's, uh, I think they're gonna make it. We're waiting in line here to grab a charge well. And the line's going pretty slowly, but we're almost there. That you're picking up, that we're picking up. Yeah, it was. Grab, charge well. <laughs> <laughs> Your whole team knows that when we're launching, you are looking up. We're in line 
waiting to get the final inspection before we can go put it on the launch pad. Thank you. They start to do one. Just, uh, I'm pretty stressed right now. Our GPS is probably what's concerning me the most because I'm in charge of it and it's doing a little funky cutting in and out. Um, it's mostly working though. We just need to make sure it's good, not run out of battery, for example. We are finally driving the car, going to the pad. So I won't be completely assured that we're launching until it's up there and we're back. But we're getting close, we're getting excited. Nothing's stopping us now. If you look to your right, there's a shrubbery. If you look to your left, there's another shrubbery. Guys, let's do this. Okay, so the rocket's right here. It's on the trailer right now, and we've got all the pads out here. So Scott is right now talking to one of the Ezra guys. They're gonna give us a pad assignment, and we're gonna just take it off um, and hopefully load it back on. We're gonna check continuity on the altimeters as well as the igniter, and then we should be good to drive back. The power pins on our GPS came apart while it was in the rocket. So it's a good thing that we decided to check it and switch out the battery because as soon as we pulled it up, it just fell right off. So we're switching out the GPS and we're putting it back in and we'll be good to go. Eight volts, three beeps, one, two, three. All right, we're good. And then do we Honestly, it's such a huge relief to have it on the pad. Everything's beeping as it should. And oh, we're having the reception that we need from the GPS. And so okay. at this point, we're just, we're just excited. came in it started to look like rain it was mildly upsetting just because we got the rocket out ready to go out to the launch pad at noon and it was six o'clock when they told us you can't fly it anymore because of the rain so we were just irritated because it was clear weather when we were ready to go and by the time they were ready to go so it felt like it wasn't really our fault we couldn't launch but we still had to deal with it You know, we're, we're a little bit frustrated right now. Um, we had a rocket out on the pad. It was all ready to go. And right before they launched our rocket, uh, they called the launch because weather came in. I don't know what was happening out there, why rockets weren't launching for the longest time. But by the time we finally got going, after four hours, it was too late. So we have to pack up and try again tomorrow. I'd be in line at as soon as you can in the morning, we'll show up in the morning. Because honestly, like, we'll take the charges out, take the motor out. Okay. All I have to say is what a day. Not much we can do about it. We'll uh, hopefully be the first of the morning, yeah, uh, first to get the prize. Today is going to be different. We're ready and it's going to be good. 
to the fortune cookies yesterday said nothing could go wrong. Well, it said something different, but... Yeah, I did. I was just paraphrasing. Alright, we're gonna launch today, guys. It's going up, it's going boom. <laughs> no, it's not going boom. Good booms. Good, good booms. booms. Exactly. Good booms all day. On the yellow flag with them. Oh. Oh. Picture-perfect launch, picture-perfect recovery, and the altimeters caught the data we needed. We were able to learn a ton, have a great time hanging out with all of our rocketry friends, getting to know lots of other people, and just seeing a bunch of rockets fly was, couldn't be a better week. I'm super excited and super excited to see the results when they come out. I think everyone should have the opportunity to find something that they're really passionate about. I was able to see my dream, my work, just fly, literally.